Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Joshy G, sitting next to my man, Brad G, Braddy G. Yeah. And we're here in the Sideshow Studios and we've got some scary fun pieces for you today. I mean, these guys are all part of the Monster Mash series by Unruly Industries and they were designed by Ian McDonald. And Ian, he did a awesome job at these pieces because some of them all have very recognizable silhouettes. Am I right, Brad? I recognize all four of these uh, young gentlemen here. Well, so. let, let's start off with Mr. Bat Brains himself. Now, Bat Brains, obviously a vampire, right? And he is scheming. He's definitely scheming. He's definitely floating, as you can see. What a floating cool detail. Is I mean, the, the bats float. That's what they, they fly, but they also can float. I believe vampires do that as well. If they're undead. Yeah. Yes. Uh, uh, I think, you know, he's scheming. He's very hungry. Uh, clearly likes to eat blood, I'm or, guessing. Or chocolate cereal. Or oh, man, probably chocolate cereal, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, uh, my impression of him, I'm, I'm looking at him and, and he's thinking, you know what he's thinking? What's he thinking? I want to sit on your shelf. <laughs> Pretty good, right? I can't Pretty help good you good there, bud. Of I can't help you there. The vampire. Yeah, we got it, we got it. But what's so cool about this is that the piece itself is holding him up, as you mentioned before, yes. he is floating. His so cape, yes. His cape is, is helping him stay afloat. That's, I mean, it's some good cape work on this one. All right, well, we're gonna move on to spare parts. So, Mr. Bad Brains, we're gonna move you out here. And here comes spare parts. Now, as you can see, the size of his limbs vary widely to really emphasize just how bo his body's being made. His arm, one arm is bigger than his other this arm. This one's pretty big. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you can see that his foot and his leg is bigger than the other, obviously using spare parts to make this ungodly creature. Uh, yeah, I'm do just you want, looking. Do you want my favorite spare parts quote is? Please, please tell us. <laughs> Are you sure? Because my favorite is. <laughs> you know, I love that, but even more than that is that moment where he goes. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. That's really, a good one. That's a good just, one. That's he's a good he's one. Uh, very uh, good, good performance. Yeah. Right. Yeah, not like us. Uh, but yeah, I just love how just the, this figure just kind of pops out and he's just reaching for you. Like you said, you know, Batbrain's on your shelf. Same thing for spare parts, just yeah. reaching out for you. No, he's a uh, shockingly handsome And, and the two I color say. tones, as you can see in the skin, you can see one obviously a little bit more decomposed than the other, the light and the dark. I just think it's, it's a very fun piece, clearly just Artists had a lot of fun putting this together. Exactly. Literally putting a, a, a humanoid together like this. And uh, and that's what he would look like if you had nothing but spare parts. Like, yes. All right, moving on to Fish Face. I'm a big fan of, uh, you know, the classic monsters. And this and, is and amphibious types, yeah. yes. And this, again, just another cool piece we were mentioning before, the details. Uh, you can see the barnacles kind of, you know, forming on uh, Fish Face's fins, his neck. He's obviously or, uh, you know, he's been in the deep for quite some time. Yeah, and also just, I, he's doing a little move here. It seems like maybe like jumping out of the water or maybe jumping into it. Yeah, using the fins. Maybe doing a little dance, you never know. Maybe doing a dance, yeah. a pirouette. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, uh, I just like how kind of silly his eyes are. Yeah. Just kind of. And kind of like the the, 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 the the smile, if you want to say that, on his face. You know, he's just, I, I think, like you said before, it's all depending on your interpretation of how you have these figures. For me, he's down in the depths looking up and just being like, God, I wish, wish I was up there. I wish I could be up there. Yeah. Be where the people are. No, don't go there. We don't want to get, we don't want to, you know, get, get in that wormhole. But yes, <laughs> this one's a cool piece. And then moving on last to the last, least. but not least, we're going to switch these out. Uh, furball. Furball. Uh, up next, this looks like my English Bulldog Matzo Ball, uh, which is just adorable. That's a cute name for a Thank dog. Thank you. Yes. They have the same underbite, but Ian told us that this guy is actually modeled after a Yorkie in, uh, you know, the face design, but, you know, he could have also taken it from my dog Matzo Ball. Uh, but regardless, this figure is so cool. Uh, you know, ripping out of his shirt. Obviously, his shoes are being destroyed because he's in mid-transformation, or excuse me, post-transformation yeah. from, from, you know, human to werewolf, and he's ready to go. All the werewolves that I know don't like wearing shoes, so it just makes a lot of sense that he'd be pushing out of those. And just look at that face. Cute but ferocious. Cute but ferocious. Just, just, like just like Matzo Ball. ball. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah, Matzo Ball. When you don't give Matzo Ball some Matzo Balls, She's cute she, but ferocious. She gets ferocious, exactly. Well, if you would like to pick up one or all these pieces, head to side.show forward slash Monster Mash. Well, guys, thank you so much for joining us. Be sure to like and subscribe to stay up to date on all of our awesome content. 
And as always, Brad, don't forget to let your geek side show. Hey, did you like that video? Be sure to subscribe by clicking the S icon on your screen and click that bell icon to be notified whenever a new video is posted. If you'd like more info on the items featured in this video, click the link provided under product info. Thanks for watching and don't forget to let your geek side show.